Rock your back, you Blessed, blessed my people, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about a controversial dance hall entertainer. I mean, this entertainer started off being in a group and after some time decided to take his career solo and during his time of Agnes was very very famous. He is one of the dancer artists who used to run the place. Them man the boss a whole heap of dancer. Them man the boss a whole heap of dance. So them man they used to have a whole heap of hit song back in the time people. And the entertainer we're talking about is Elephant Man. So people, O'Neill Brian, aka Elephant Man, otherwise aka Elephant Man, aka the Energy God, was born on the 11th of September in the year 1975 in Seaview Gardens, Kingston, Jamaica. Whilst growing up as a young man, you know, O'Neill Brian always had an interest in entertainment and being an artist as he was a youth who always used to go around and sing and entertain people in the community and whenever there is any local concert anything I keep you know him always turn up and all the vibes same way you know I mean like dance him like sing and so on you see he's a youth but always full of energy from him a grow but it was not until in the year 1995 that Elephant Man officially started his musical career. He started out by becoming a member of the Scare Them Crew. The Scare Them Crew then comprised of leader Bounty Killer, you know, Elephant Man, Harry Tadler, Boom Dandemite and Nitty Kochi. This was a very successful music group back in the 90s. However, it was disbanded as soon as the leader Bounty Killer went solo as also Harry Tadler and Elephant Man. So people, Elephant Man took on the journey of becoming a solo artist and whilst doing so he had seen many successes and I mean Elephant Man sing a whole heap of hit music. With his solo career came a lot of changes to his image. You know, Elephant Man started to dye his hair in some bright colors like orange, red, yellow, and so on. You get me? I said, Elephant Man referred to himself as the Energy God because, you know, when Elephant Man would be performing on stage, he would be all over the place. Him climb up on the speaker box, him climb up on the stage. He's a man with it all over, and that's the reason why he said him as the Energy God. When them say, mad people said me. I am the first, I am the first, I am the first, I am the first. Drop, 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 Elephant Man was having a successful career as a solo artist. In the late 90s, early 2000s, you know, Elephant Man was the artist who really run the place on a level. As it relates to dance, you know, I mean, and to make dance all nice, Elephant Man was the artist, people. You see it? Yeah, man, Elephant Man sing all of the dance songs that we have people are moving a dance. As a matter of fact, Elephant Man and one of them will make the dance of them start to eat food. You see me? Because Elephant Man did really a push out for the dance of them more than even Beanie Man. You know, Beanie Man is a man who used to sing for the dance of them like Pogle Man and so on. But Elephant Man forward and the scene there and take it to a different level. Pogle, come here. See the greatest dancer here in the world. Read him. Ed Gan. Twins of Twins. Mad. Ed Gan. Songs like Put Your AK Over The Wall, Willy Bunks, Pandy River, Pandy Bank. Yes, I said, people, Elephant Man did have the thing lock for your wife. You have another song, Gully Creeper. Whole heap of song Elephant Man sing when they run dance hall one time. So, Elephant Man gained major international recognition when him and Puma settled on a contract for them to use his single for their Olympic commercial. You know, Elephant Man eat a decent piece of food right there. This was in 2004 
when Elephant Man in I'm prime same way. So in 2006, people, you know, Elephant Man song Willy Bunks was one of the most popular songs in dance hall. You get me I say was featured on several mixtapes all over the world. And that song to date is still relevant in the dance hall space today. You know, with all these hit songs, people, you know, Elephant Man was becoming more successful, more popular. And I mean, he was gaining a lot of traction all over. Elephant Man was a well sought after artist in dance hall. Elephant Man tour the whole world, you know, Elephant Man vice for all of the top producer them. You see people, yeah man. And most of the songs them Elephant Man drop were it songs same way. You see people. His popularity grew so much that he landed a deal with a New York based record label known as Bad Boys Records. And you know that this record label is owned by P. Diddy. You get the message people say no Elephant Man used to work with P. Diddy them and a lot more international artists, you know what I mean? Once you come under them big label, you know, say I got work with people like Wycliffe John, Buster Rhyme and so on. Shortly after Elephant Man released Let's Get Physical on the 6th of November 2007. You see what I say? So you don't know Elephant Man did I put in the work. Same way when him signed with Diddy, you know what I mean? If I am not mistaken, that contract was worth over a million US dollars. Just showing you how valuable Elephant Man was at that time. You know what I mean, people? But really and truly, you know, when we look at it now, a million US would have seemed like a lot of money, especially to we in Jamaica. But you know, to the rapper them and, and the people them overseas are really and make money. A million US is nothing because, you know, them man they take up 50, 60 million, million and do all crazy things by a watch and so on. So, you get me as a people, it would seem like a lot of money, but it was really not a lot of money. So people, regardless of that amount of money, you know what I mean, people, I think that Elephant Man might have been better off in his musical career if he had not taken up that deal because after taking up that deal you know what i mean elephant man was not really consistent with his songs like before remember you know when elephant man signed to the label elephant man was the front runner at that time you know what i mean the most sought after dancehall artist and since him got signed up and thing you know what i mean most of them big labels they come with a lot of restrictions and so on and so forth or maybe the whole heap of money we get one time kind of put him on a different level and he never that released the material when he used to release prior to him signing the deal. You get the message, people. But as a youth, when they around them time there, as a little youth, I know what go on at them time there. I know when Elephant Man did a sing whole heap of hit music and then you never had a hear nothing from Elephant Man more than so. Now after his deal came to an end with Diddy, you know, Elephant Man started to release back some whole heap more music again. You know, Elephant Man always gonna be relevant in dance hall because elephant man have a huge catalog and elephant man is a proper entertainer elephant man know how to entertain a crowd you see people can't take anything away from the energy god you see a theme thing that you see me when it comes to entertainment you have to give elephant man in props but personally I think him could have reached further in a music career in terms of achievement and so on and so forth because it was because of the work that he was doing on the ground here why the big international label bad boy saw him and saw it fit to sign him. You see people and in my opinion a lot of them big labels they feel threatened by our dancehall music and as a result them know them can use money and try to buy out the artists them and try to clip them wing you see people are only few of the artists them hold firm enough and know say you up no no them not no sign and them not no buy out you see people because back then social media was not as prevalent as it is now you see and like say them time that the artists could have over so and then you see where my going with you see me it was all about what the label them want people for hear people hear the artists they never did really have what it takes for really bring the music to people in a people house like nowadays you know a man can go live and when him go live him just play music and people at them yard and them listening to people at them workplace them listening the same way so back then it was different you know what i mean and that did kind of slow elephant man thing a little bit you see people you know elephant man still make millions of dollars same way him things still are work but you know what i mean i think personally him could have a better achievement if him did just continue to do the work that he was doing at the time, you know what I mean, and try to bring dancehall music to a different level 
in the category that he was representing. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about some issues that Elephant Man faced, you know what I mean? In 2003, he was criticized for his lyrics that were inciting violence against gay people. And in 2003, a British LGBT group became outraged and was calling for the arrest of several dancer stars accusing them of inciting violence against gay people artists such as elephant man peony man bounty killer they were accused of violating the eight crimes statute as a result of this outrage in 2004 elephant man was dropped from the mobile awards which i think he would have won but since then Pressure from the record labels has also other players in the industry caused the artist to sign an agreement to avoid lyrics that is inciting violence against gay people. So after signing the agreement with the gay rights people, you know what I mean, Elephant Man was once again allowed to perform in the United Kingdom. As I saw in 2009, Elephant Man was to appear at the Caribana Festival in Toronto and his appearance was also cancelled due to the same reason of which he was accused of inciting violence against gay people. I love it when you and I don't know about that gang in february 2015 a show in germany was also cancelled for elephant man because members of the lgbt community approached the police and said that they are to ensure that elephant man does not sing any song that will motivate people to want to murder gay people so now people we're gonna talk about the more serious legal issue that elephant man had to deal with and this was when he was arrested and charged in january 2012 for rape it is alleged that a 31 year old woman who visited the home of elephant man for whatever reason maybe just to talk was there you know what i mean and he had sex with her without her consent you know what i mean hence elephant man was charged for rape you know and i mean and grievous sexual assault however after going to court for about five years or so you know in february 2016 the charges against elephant man were dropped because of the death of the complainant so we never know if he was actually guilty of that offense you know what i mean because there was no longer a witness to come to court and to be cross-examined you know what i mean so you know elephant man had to be given the benefit of the doubt hence the charges were dropped against him and elephant man cannot be addressed as a raper you know what i mean because he was never convicted of that you know what i mean it was just an allegation which might not have been true elephant man is a very successful dancehall artist in my view you get messy people you know elephant man even made an appearance in the movie third world cup where he played the character dnt crime you see it people so you know elephant man been around and elephant man put in the work you see it people but you know everybody have them challenges but all in all people in my opinion elephant man is a very talented and energetic entertainer even to the date you see people and as i know that is just my view you can leave your views in the comment section as also you can like share subscribe turn on the light man twins of twins man wall it up wall it up man them down a dg don't got no head wall it up 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 Twins, I'm in a way. 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 I'm in a
Oh, my God. 